it was a great rent, win regardless, but, you know, I put a little bit more on it just because I had about 40 people who wanted to go to the game, but they couldn't because tickets was hard to come by. But just knowing that they wanted to come, I just told them to watch it on TV. That just, you can, well, I could actually feel it, you know what I mean? Like, you know, how much emphasis they was putting on, pressure they was putting on me for me to perform like I'm supposed to represent for Dallas, as they would call it. So, I had to do that. What goes through your mind to come around the corner and you know that he doesn't see you, especially on that last play? I mean, and, uh, just kind of walk me through what went through your mind on that, on that set. Game. I actually thought he was going to throw it away. But, uh, because the way, the, like, Rack pulled him up and he was just sitting there, so I kind of went inside and I saw him. I wanted to build up a little bit more speed, so I put a little bit more crunch on the hit, but it still felt good. Sergio, you said a couple of weeks ago that you kind of hoped a couple of teams lost. You guys keep moving up the pole. Now you're at number one. Is, how, how much fun is this? And also, is there added pressure to you guys? Do you feel that now that you are number one? Um, you know, it's a good, you know, it's a good feeling being on top, but. It's a lot more pressure now. You know, every team comes in and plays us hard. You know, like we already was number one, but now the Bulls are on our back and got a lot bigger. So we just got to take it for what it's worth and keep playing like we have. And hopefully, oh, go ahead. It seemed like last week your assignment was kind of recap and kind of go through the process of what was going on. Um, I would hope so. It depends on, you know, what type of game plan Coach Muschamp has. And it'll be a little bit – I think it'll be a little bit different because Chase Down, Chase Daines is a little bit more mobile. Well, a lot more mobile than Sam Bradford. So we're going to have to get to him somehow. Hopefully disrupt him throwing the ball and his timing on his passes because if we don't, you know, he can pick us apart. No, uh, not at all. Go into the tank like some of these other teams are? No, not at all. Can't. What's different about you guys as number one versus the other four teams that have had the number one rank and have been able to hold on to it? Um, probably just seeing what they did wrong and building from that. You know, they took, I guess they took it for, I wouldn't say they took it for granted, but, you know, they, <laughs> they ate the cheese, as Coach Brown might say. So what we got to do is, you know, stay humble, stay grounded, and, Play like Texas been playing the last six weeks, and that'll carry us a long way, I think. Coach Brown said that there was a lot of mistakes on defense, and they went a lot of big plays. How do y'all change that in a week? Um, we just, you know, we came out physically prepared, but mentally we had some errors, and we just got to prepare better. Basically, you know, it's, without those big plays, it probably would have been a whole different game, but there's nothing major that went wrong. We just busted some coverages, so. So we got to put some emphasis on um, practicing those coverages or watching a little bit more film for this week, try to get a better feeling for what they're going to do, and hopefully that'll help us in that area. you think you guys are the best team in the country? That's for y'all to decide. You know, I think we're Texas. We, I think we're a pretty good team, but, you know, I'm not going to say so. What do you think of Coach just said that if he had a vote, he would he'd go to Alabama number one? That's what I thought would have happened. Um, if you really want to know, I thought we'd be number two and not one, but it wasn't my decision. Sergio, how special a player is Earl becoming? Man, Earl, the playmaker, I mean, for him to be so young, only by age, you know, he played like a veteran on the field, as I said earlier, man. Like, I guess all he needed was two a days for him to grow as a player, and every week he's getting smarter. You know, he's getting better reads, you know, tackling better. You know, him and Blake getting, you know, playing outstanding for their age, you know, being true freshmen in a red shirt. But, you know, they feed off of us and we feed off of them. So we got to keep building on that and hopefully that will keep building and keep building and keep winning. Have you watched much of Missouri yet this year? I, I took a sneak peek at him yesterday. What do you think about their offense? Potent, you know. Playmakers are across the board, so you know, just like Oklahoma, you gotta take it for what it's worth. You know, can't get into how great they are. You just gotta play your game, and that's what we plan to do. Would you rather they have uh, 
won last week, or do you think would you rather play a team that's coming off a win or coming off a loss? Do you think that they'll be a little more focused coming off a loss? Well, it really don't matter, you know. We're gonna have to play them regardless, win or lose. So, don't matter to me. You and Chase both from the Dallas area. When you're in high school, were you aware of what South Lake Carroll was doing when he was there and how good they were? I can see him winning, you know, my team wasn't on that path, but, you know, we can see him on top of the board all the time, so, but besides that, that's all I could really know about it, you know, because when you losing a little bit in high school, <laughs> looking up at the teams is winning, it's a long distance, so. When you look at you guys the next couple of games, is that something you look forward to, I mean, especially as a competitive guy or something? Yeah, you know, I do, I just look forward to playing, period, you know, rankings don't matter, we... If we wasn't ranked, you know, I still look at these games the same. So, you know, it'll be a great, ch great test and a great challenge for us as a team, defense and offense. Sergio, what's different about this team this year versus last year? I asked Mac about where he was at in December. You guys came off that loss to AM and hadn't been very consistent last year. And the first six games of this season and you know, the carry from the Holiday Bowl it just it seems like there's a different vibe with you guys. What, what was the big challenge? I don't know. I mean, we haven't lost yet. That's probably all I can say. You know, we playing, I guess we playing as a team on defense, you know, with all these young guys and everything. I think we just jailed over the, over two days, and I wouldn't say we didn't have that last year. You know, it just, you know, people going to say what they want with losses. So, you know, with us winning, you know, it just looks different. You can't tell anything different, though. Nah, I really can't. You know, we had some great players last year, and we do this year. We just haven't lost yet. I mean, he's a great player, so I'm guessing so. But Gresham was a tough one too, you know. And as you see, he did his thing in that game. So, um, and as I was saying, we busted some coverages on him. So hopefully, if we, you know, stick to our, stick with our game plan this week, it'll be a little bit more easier for us to cover, you know, Kaufman. Because he's a great vertical stretch tight end. He can run like a receiver.